Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking egg fillets with a garlic and paprika sauce. So let's begin. Okay, so today's recipe will be made using some not a lot of ingredients. So let's start off by turning the stove on. And I'll turn this up to number, I'll just turn it up to number seven. And I'm going to add about three, four tablespoons of olive oil. And while this is slowly heating up, I'll let you know what I'm cooking. Um, can you see this? Yeah. So I've got my potatoes here, Galician style boiled potatoes which if you don't know how to make them I'll leave a link in the description to show you how it's a three minute video so take a look at that they are delicious this way um, so I'm going to I'm going to turn the these up and start boiling them for about 20 minutes roughly and while this is heating up I've got my hake fillets here. If you don't have, these are frozen, which have been defrosted overnight in the fridge, of course. I'm using four, two each, which is enough for both of us. If you don't have hake, cod is a great alternative, but I'm not using cod because cod is about twice the price of this. And we like this fish. Um, some salt obviously for the potatoes which I will add before I forget um, what else oh shit damn I turned up the, the wrong no way how embarrassing turn this heat on well I'll put this on here which is a bit bigger than that and better how embarrassing. I thought my hand was getting hot there. And look, this was on it. And didn't even notice it. Um, right, I've got um, about three garlic cloves sliced up. And I've got my sweet paprika, of course. And to this sweet paprika, I forgot to put it on here. But I'll get it ready in a minute and just a bit of a bit of um water because when I cook the when I fry the garlic I will um add some water after adding the sweet paprika. Okay, so let's wait for this to heat up. Okay, so this oil seems hot enough. We'll forget about the potatoes, they'll be there on doing, you know. You don't have to eat them with potatoes, you can eat them with whatever you like. So forget about the potatoes. I'm going to concentrate on doing the actual recipe, which is the fish. Okay, so that's hot. I think it's... I've been wandering about the house and I think it's too hot. Well... Scot it. Let's chuck it in there. I think the four of them will fit in here. Okay. No? Yeah, four of them will fit in nicely. So, I just want to... I'm going to give them a bit of salt. Just on one side. You don't need it on both sides. You can if you want. I'm going to add a bit more. It's up to you, you know. And I'm just going to fry these on each side for about three minutes roughly, you know. Turn the extractor fan on. And we'll wait for them to, to fry on that side. And then we'll turn them over. Right, so about four minutes have gone by. So what I'll do is turn these over. You've got to be really careful 
because they're quite fragile, you know. Oh, I don't like this. Wow, look at that. Well, no problem. I'll still be eating these, you know. It's just that they're so soft that they're very prone to breaking up, you know. Let's see this one, which is the thickest one. Wait, look at that. Well, so we'll leave them there another four minutes, roughly. It's a shame that they broke up, you know, but it tends to happen with the fillets. Unless you put them like with flour and egg, you know, they'll just break doing it this way. Ouch. Right, so once this is done, we'll take them out and we'll put them on here. And now we'll move on to the next step, which will be to put the pan on that heat again. It's medium high, number seven. I've still got all the fish scrapings here, which I won't throw away, obviously. And what I'll do is add the garlic in and I'll just fry this gently until it is golden brown. So let's move this garlic about. Look at that nicely browning off. Lovely jubbly. Doesn't matter if both sides aren't brown, you know. And again, you can add more garlic if you like, it all depends. This is for me only, so it's enough. It's good for the horse, they say, also. So is the wine. Okay, so once the garlic is done, I'm going to, I'm going to chuck in a tablespoon of sweet paprika. Got to be quick with this, don't want it to burn. And we'll add in about a third of a glass of wine. Listen to that sizzle. Lovely jubbly again. Let's stir this about because this sauce I'm going to chuck it all over the um, the fish. So as you can see, it's a very simple recipe, isn't it? I'm going to leave. I'm going to chuck it on one side. I think and leave. I'm not sure if my wife's going to like this. I don't know if I'm going to be in the doghouse all week or not. So I'm going to turn the heat off now. Take that off. And just that, let that boil down on its own, you know. And so, here's the fishy. And now what I'll do is add this paprika and garlic sauce all over it. Beautiful. Don't know what my wife will say about this. So let's get whatever is out of here. I really don't know. Maybe I should have done it separate plates before adding this. Hmm. And well, that is today's delicious lunch. Hake fish with a paprika and garlic sauce. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Cheers.